Muy live. <laughs> Hi. Muy live. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, yes. so we are coming. Wait, 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 wait. wait. No, it's not, not live, live yet. Now? Not live not yet. yet. No. No, no, yeah. There you go. There are we you live go. Now? Yes, now we are live. And hi, everyone. Hi. My wife here has put a challenge on me. You have something to say? Well, it's not, yeah, sure. <laughs> um, uh, with everything that's going on, there's a lot of, of uh, questions that come, come up with people that are not Christian, like they don't believe. And so there's two questions that I'm going to ask you. Two or three, depending on on how it, how it goes. But we're gonna start with the first one. And the first one, which is on my heart too, because I know people that are you know close to me, and that are they don't believe or they have other religion. But there's one that really pops up in my mind, and it's why do people say that? you need to have a lot of faith to be an atheist or a non-believer that's a very good question actually it's, it's deep because <laughs> you know there's a lot of people that are against god they don't they don't believe anything they just believe really they don't they believe in themselves Mm, well, well, or me, even not. This is a thing that's very normal. All people who don't believe in God believe in themselves. You know, the things about God is that we, we need to learn to surrender our lives to Him, to trust in Him, to work in our lives, and to, to be the Lord of our lives. And that, that that's a big word because Lord implies someone who governs over you. In the past. Uh, when a person had a lord that meant someone that was a ruler a, 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 and uh, that you were in the position of a servant or a slave even you see now in the case of god there is a lot of things about that because god himself is uh doesn't treat us as slaves he treats us as his children and his his loved one, like he says, as the apple of his eyes. Mm -hmm. In other words, we are very cherished and very important to him. And I'm talking about all of us, not just the Christians. However, the Christians will have the favor of God for the simple reason that um, they have surrendered their life to Jesus, given their life to Jesus. Now, with regard to those that, that don't believe and it is understandable. Or even like an atheist. Do you think atheist, it's even stronger than a person that don't no, believe? No, no, because there's no such thing as an atheist. Let me tell you something. There is a, 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 a people say, I talk to Lord a lot about atheists. I'm an atheist, yes. Yeah, sure, uh, it's simply atheist. unbelievers. Because uh, at atheist typically are... Uh, people that for for various reasons reject the notion of a deity, specifically of God, mm -hmm. you see. And, uh, and uh, a lot of time when you walk back uh, to their past, you're going to find the root of that reason. Many of them because of a deception, because of an upbring upbringing, some... Rejection. It is a yeah. hundreds of different possibilities, and that is something we're not going to get into. Yeah. But uh, we're going to try to answer uh, the question from the yeah. biblical perspective. So why do people say that you need to have a lot of faith to be an atheist? Because of the atheist? evidence. Because, you know, the very first thing you see is, for example, in... Uh, in Psalms 19, find now Psalm 19. Psalm 19. Uh, yeah, Psalm 19, and, and let's let's quickly read a couple of verses in there, and uh, and you are gonna see what okay. what I mean. It, it, right. Starting on verse one, verse okay. one, two, and three. One, two, and three. So Psalm 19. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the sky above proclaims His handiwork. Day to day pours out speech, and night to night reveals knowledge. There is no speech, nor are these words whose voice is not heard. So basically, what, what it's telling you is that the creation itself 
screaming out the reality of a creator. Mm -hmm. The creation itself is telling out loud, God made me. You see, and those who rejected, those who, for example, attached to the idea of evolution, mm -hmm. have uh, attached to it, and in most cases, even Charles Darwin himself uh, uh, admitted, for example, one of the things that Charles Darwin says in his theory of evolution was that if, uh, if there is ever a demonstration that a single cell can be broken down in smaller pieces, that's in his time in, the, in, in 1800, uh, uh, then the whole theory will fall apart. That was his words. And today it has been demonstrated that inside a single cell, there are all kinds of other uh, uh, parts. There is highways, there is uh, a, a communication channels, there is all sort of, uh, I mean, the, the atom himself, itself, it's, it's, it's what the single cell is, in, is made of. And there are millions of them inside a single cell. And then the atoms are divided into protons and electrons so and infinite. neutrons. Uh, so, so <laughs> Charles Darwin himself, himself gave us a, a, a factual a reason why evolution is not possible. There are many other things that I could talk about it, but I'm not going to get too deep into that. Because an atheist, if he wants to be atheist because he rejects God, it doesn't matter what you tell him, they're not going to believe. Yeah. But a person who has doubt that want to answer to questions will have an ear to hear, like Jesus says. You know. And like, like again this morning when we were talking about the Pharisees and stuff, like they were veiled. Yeah, of course, that's another thing. Yeah. That's another thing. For example, in Romans 1, verse 18, if you look it up, 18, and, 18 to 21, I mean, the whole chapter Romans speaks of this. 1 Romans 1, uh, verse... Uh, 18? Yeah, verse 18 and, and following. It, read a couple of verses okay. there. You tell me when to stop. Yeah. Okay. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men, who by their unrighteousness suppress the truth. Suppress the truth. You're hearing it. Continue, continue. For what can be known about God is plain to them, because God has shown it to them. For his invisible attributes, namely his eternal power and divine nature, have been clearly perceived ever since the creation of the world in the things that have been made. Okay, stop there. Now, you see, that's the thing, in the things that have been made. For example, look at the marvelous, extraordinary beauty of procreation. How a child is made in the womb of a woman. And scientifically, it has been demonstrated that I when... I love that one. <laughs> yeah, that when... when uh, yes. That, that when a spermatozoid and an egg join, there is an explosion of light. Yeah. You see, yeah. literally an explosion of light of power. Yeah. And, and, and this is the light of God that touches yeah. a soul and, and, and deposited inside the womb of a mother as, the, as the, the creature is being created. And immediately, it starts multiplying life. rapidly and within days, it has the form of a child. More like you a see. shrimp, but... <laughs> and then if you if you talk about the, the DNA, for example, mm -hmm. the DNA, I mean, the, the, so only the, imagine, the imagination, the possibility of the DNA to be something that happened by accident or by some freak of nature, it's, it's, it's an idea that only a fool would consider because there's such a perfection. It's true, like... You know, to be an unbeliever or an atheist or whatever you want to call it, like you just look around you, like in nature, like even sitting in your backyard or looking through your window at night or during the I day. I mean, look at the birds. I mean, yeah, like I, I posted on Facebook a few few days ago, like, the, you know, the birds were little and then five days later, it's like yeah. nobody showed and it is the impossible. birds to do to build a nest and to 
to to to to bring up her her little birdies and show you them know, how to fly. And... <clears throat> One of the greatest challenges of uh, evolution is in the woodpecker, mm -hmm. because the woodpecker has a special tongue yeah. that wraps inside and that gets stick stick out to pull out the worms from inside the Pulls tree. All the way back to his brain. But yeah. the speed at which the, the woodpecker hits the tree. And, and you see why when they are hitting the tree, they close their eyes because at the, the such a power is more powerful than a sledgehammer hammering against a wall. Yeah. Uh, and so what would happen if they would not close their eyes? Their, their eyes would pop out yeah, from the power of the hitting. <laughs> you see, but the, the, the design of that tongue is something that there is no possible explanation and it's the only bird even like in that. science how that bird is like that and there's no how he evaluated there's, there's no, no way. way that something like that could be part of evolution and i could Amen. speak for hours just about potentially but then again you have a, for example uh first corinthian chapter 2 uh verse uh, uh can you go to first corinthian chapter 2 and you wrote verse 14 yeah you have it right there yes okay Shut. 2 14 yeah what does he say there the natural person does not accept the things of the spirit of god for they are folly to him yeah what's folly again yeah they are foolishness yeah, or foolishness. they are craziness yeah uh, and it, and he is not able to understand them because they are spiritually discerned. So the spirit of God has to teach you, has to, to you have to discern it with the spirit of God. That's right. I mean, they, they, and if you don't have the spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, if you have not accept Jesus in your heart, you don't have the Holy Spirit in you. So the spirit cannot show you. You don't understand. You are veiled by the enemy. That's well. That's a that's a that's a bit of a thing that I didn't want to get into yet, <laughs> but uh, but certainly you see uh, the 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 thing about salvation, the thing that uh, the people of the world don't get to understand is that uh, salvation is by the grace of God, and this helps in starting the answer for the second question that you have the, the touch is? one second the touch of the soul and uh, and this happened this is a miracle in itself god touches the individual and uh, and bring transformation into that life literally there is a supernatural a, 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 a event that takes place the god's spirit coming to that person touches that person and creates a series of transformations like from a caterpillar well yeah but no that's that's in the natural caterpillar okay. this is all supernatural this is something that cannot be seen with the eye but you see we would have to go into genesis and explain how the men or man fall and how sin got a uh, 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 control of man and explain how the sin nature is active in every single man on earth and woman and children uh it's something that that we cannot deny i mean you can see it in in a in a baby that if, for example the, the typical example look at a baby uh, and, and we have a personal experience with that, with Maya and William when they were children. Look at a tiny little baby. They may have 10, 20, 30, 30 toys. But another child come in and grab one of their toys. What is that child going to do? Immediately, it's going to run out and grab the toy from the other child and rip it out. I mean, that's a selfish. That is a... a, a the famous mine. Egotistic. Mine. <laughs> that's the mine attitude. And... and 
and, and a child of uh, a few months old, three, four, five, six, seven months old, Don't know where would you is. say that he learned or she learned that? I mean, it's, it's in the nature of that child is born with that problem because of the fallenness of man, because of the sin nature that is born with the individual. And, and that I could explain it in more detail if we go to Genesis chapter 2, but I'm not going to get into that now because it's much too deep. Uh, but uh, this is the problem with an unbeliever. Uh, it's hard for a person to not believe with all the evidence that God gives us of this reality that is him look at the universe so it's look at the magnificence i mean every time somebody every time the hubble telescope get fine-tuned and can see farther then goes laugh and say come on point a little bit farther and you're going to find more and more and more and more stars and more galaxies and more uh, stuff get found in the universe like so, yeah, so it's a choice that they make yeah, of not absolutely. believing because probably like you said earlier of their past there is they have a baggage yeah. that they don't want to let go they had their their well it's not necessarily it, it's deeper than that and, and and a person may not consciously be wanting to reject god because there is another thing that that we could get into that speaks of in Roman 8 and Roman 9 with regard to the Spirit of God and God touching a person. A person uh, cannot believe precisely because of that sin nature unless God touches that person. So that brings us into the second question. Go ahead. Which is, why is it so hard for the unbelievers to open themselves to God? An unbeliever by nature cannot open him or herself to God. And let me tell you something. If any of you is watching and you feel a stir up inside and this sense that all of this is true and that you need God is because God is talking to you. It's because God is touching you. And this is a fact of reality. In order for a person to believe, God has to touch him. Because our sin nature makes us unable mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. see God, to see the things of God, to see the nature of God, the reality of God and so his great favor. So you feel this thing inside that's just pulling you like a like a magnet yeah and it's either you feel it or, or you, you don't. don't yeah if you don't there's no there's no gray it's like black or no white. it's black yeah. or white yeah. and uh, and a person may may be educated may be trained in bible teaching may be go deep into theology and yet not believe because god needs yeah. to touch that like person. i remember you accepted christ before i did and then i saw the changes in you and and uh i went a few times to church like we were going to church and i did not accept christ but then like i, I remember sitting in my chair but feeling that that magnet just pulling yeah. me and i was resisting i'm like no i'm not ready i'm not ready yeah because but they... again when you go to god you're never going to be ready. That's why he accepts you how you are. He's yeah, like, but, just come to me as you are. But you see, uh, this is the thing. And then one day I said, yeah. Uh, this is the thing. And uh, we could get into that and explain it in yeah. uh, biblically. How, how a person... Um, that, and Jesus says it clearly in his word. He who is not with me is against me. And the reason why the person who's not for Jesus is against Jesus is not because he voluntarily want to be against Jesus. It's because uh, um, you, and, and Jesus says it in, in, in John chapter 8, I mean, uh, uh, those who believe uh, uh, belong to God, that those who do not believe belong to Satan. And it's not necessarily mean that Satan is taking control of them, but that, uh, but that they, by rejecting God, are denying themselves the right to become children of God and hence are walking toward hell by themselves. 
because this is the whole point. You see, those who, and this is why we say that the biggest sin that anybody could commit is the sin of, uh, of uh, unbelief, the sin of rejection, because it's the one sin that will separate you completely from God. It's the one sin that will not give you an option but to go into hell when you die. Uh, and you say, but how can that be? Well, precisely because God is not ever going to want to see you going to hell, but he cannot force you to believe. It's like, yeah, you, you cannot force somebody to do anything. Yeah. Like, I can't force you to love me or you can't force me to love you. Like, That's it's a right. choice. Yeah, that you yeah. have to make yeah and then you know yeah and this is why when a person is feeling the pull and the person is feeling the desire the intention something them is telling them yeah. you got by faith to jump in and say yes jesus mm -hmm. i want to know you i want to be a part of you i want to surrender to to you i want to be a part of your life teach me help me and even if you're not sure just asking the question and, and speaking to the lord uh, but it is something things that need to be done from the heart. Look, for example, uh, in, in Ephesians 2 8. Ephesians 2 8. Ephesians 2 8, now, Ephesians 2, 8 give us a, a hint of, uh, of, of how this works. Right. It, it says clearly, it is by faith that you have been saved. Read it for me. 2 8. For by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God. But that means that God gifts us with the faith to believe in Him. God gifts us with the grace to change our life. God gifts us with the salvation that we receive. Everything comes from God. There's nothing, absolutely nothing that we can do to turn to God. And we he, don't have to do anything. All you have to do is believe. Yeah, that's And proclaim it. that you, He is your Lord and Savior and that's it. And this is the whole point. This is why I say the, the biggest sin anybody can commit is unbelief. Yeah. Because when you believe, you have already said yes to the Lord. And uh, for example, in Romans 3.10, what does he say? Romans 3.10, you're going too fast for me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, if you look at Romans 3.10, it, 10. Okay. it tells Wait. you there's no one good. All right, here we go. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Where's 10? I have a, I have nine eleven. Okay, as is as 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 it, it is written. As it is written, none in is righteous. No, not one. Yeah, yeah. nobody. Yeah, keep breathing. Keep breathing. Okay. No one understands. No one seeks God. Seeks for God. All have turned aside. Together they have become worthless. No one does good. Not even one. Not even one. And this is precisely... Now, not, I'm sorry, I'm cutting you, I'm cutting you up. But now people would say, what do you mean I don't do good? Like I help people. I, I help an old lady cross the street. I go to mission trips. I, I help the church. I help the kids. So people are going to say, why are you saying I'm not good? Precisely. Because goodness, and in, in Isaiah 64, it, it, it says clearly... Uh, I think verse 6, it says clearly, uh, all your goodness, all your good deeds, all your righteousness I'm is like filthy bad. rags before my eyes, says the Lord. But why? And it, it, it says that because uh, when we do things, this kind of goodness, we are doing it to shine our own light. Yeah. to show that we can, to show that we are able. To, when, when we do things because we love God, we're doing it to please God, to honor God, to exalt His name. But when we, we do things apart from God, we are doing it to exalt our own self. And there's nothing greater than the selfishness and pride that is created in you doing yeah. these kind of things. A lot of people do good. And yes, there's a lot of good. And you can do something good, but then you'll be sitting at night and you'll have these thoughts. Yeah. Because the enemy tries to say, oh, you did good, but... No, never mind that. If you're not a Christian, the yeah. enemy is going to is going to pump you up. Yeah. yeah, you did very good. You're awesome. But guess what? This is self you. pride. Yeah. This is not about you. This is about the creator of heaven and earth. And this is the problem. So then when he says here, 
uh, uh, no one is good. It's saying that all of us are fallen. And the verse 23 in that same... Oh, I'm, I'm in, in Isaiah now. <laughs> verse 23... <laughs> Uh, in the same chapter 3 says, I'll, don't bother, I'm going to just say, I okay. have seen and fall short of, of the, the glory, glory of, God. of God. And this is what it's about, fall short of the glory of God, because when we do these things, we are not glorifying God. We are exalting ourselves. And, 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 this, is, and this is how... Um, and this is how... We we have uh, this problem. Uh, one second, that um, that in order for us to open up to God, we have to just accept Him and come to Him as we are by faith. Amen. And and again and again. As soon as you start feeling the pull, the desire, the, 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 this attraction that you are wondering, what is this? I mean, uh, it, it, this is the Holy Spirit working in you, telling you there is something awesome coming to, to, to you. Just, mm -hmm. just come to me. I'm, I'm waiting for you with open arm. I'm ready to receive you because uh, uh, this is the thing. You see, uh, human beings, we all love uh, self-gratification and yeah. instant gratification mm -hmm. we want things that are instant oh i smoke a joint because it feels good because it give me a buzz and uh, and then my mouth is dry and then i start eating and get fat <laughs> <laughs> or or uh, i get drunk tonight and woohoo i had a big party and then tomorrow a big headache the self-gratification the instant gratification are all the toys of the enemy and again there's nothing wrong with having a beer or, or having a drink or or whatever mm -hmm. uh, but it's the excess of things exactly. that the enemy pull us into that make us uh, derail mm -hmm. and uh, when we have the faith to come to the Lord he is going to show us a new life a new path new possibilities new extraordinary things that are unheard of and it says like this, you know, I mean, uh, in, uh, in Jeremiah 29, mm -hmm. you see, uh, that simply you come to me and uh, I will show you great things that you Amen. don't understand. Okay, now uh, I have another question. Mm -hmm. Let's say you're not a Christian, mm -hmm. like you don't follow Jesus, and but you feel that pull. Mm -hmm. Can, can the, can you like, how can I say that? Can you like, can the enemy put things in your mind and oh, you absolutely. see things? Oh, and, absolutely. Not and only that. Think of things. Not that, only you know, that. You see, have you seen those cartoons of God and the devil in your children? Yeah, you see yeah, in, the, in the movies, you the, the cartoons, devil, yeah, you yeah, have a, a you have the devil with the fork. I mean, <laughs> the devil doesn't have a fork. <laughs> yeah. he, the Bible says that he dresses like an angel of light. Yeah. But uh, but yes, I mean, if Satan doesn't want to lose his uh, his slaves, yeah. and this is the thing: all who are not for God are slaves of sin and Satan. And you say, who oh, am I a slave? Well, if you're an alcoholic, try to leave alcohol and see what's going to happen. Yeah. If you are a smoker, try to leave cigarette and see what happens. Yeah. You don't understand then that you are a slave. Yeah. If you are a shopaholic, try to stop shopping and see what happens. Yeah. You, you go know. crazy. You go yeah. crazy. You're like, yeah. what am I going to do? You don't know what to do with your hands. You don't know what you to do to you do know, If yourself. you are a workaholic, what do you think it happens? If you when try you to... stop working? Yeah. You, you don't know, know what like to a... do. Yeah. You see, it's because you become a slave of the things that you do. They become idols. They become literally idols as when you uh, bow and worship to statues and things that are made by the hands of man. It's the same thing. Amen. You see, and this is why you are a slave of those things, but that, but God help you break away from them. And, and for example, a person that has the pull of the Holy Spirit he may be hearing or she may be hearing uh, a, a voice on the other side. Ah, that's not true. Ah, don't pay attention. But but this person have to literally tune off 
their ear to those voices yeah. and hear the voice of God come. Because that's literally, there's a saying that says, I have to leave, I have to live with my demons. You know, when you're not, yeah. when you're not a, a believer, like a follower of Christ, say, ah, we all have demons. Because oh, yeah. there is a circular saying. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Know. Or we have all a skeletons. They are actually the real. <laughs> but the thing is, but the thing is that, that, that God wipes out Amen. our our sins in such an extraordinary way when we come to him that we feel the cleanliness. Yes. We yes. truly, truly feel the and the trick the the, the 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 trickiest trick is the thought that Satan put in your hand. Oh, you're not gonna be able to do this, you're not gonna be able to do that. That's our lies. Yeah. Those are huge lies. You're gonna get laughed at. Yeah, you know, you're, you're, gonna, know, lose your you're, you're gonna lose yeah. your friends. Guess what? With friends like you, I don't wanna have any friends. I remember all the friends that walk away from me and today God have given me so many friends. I have friends in, in about 40 countries Amen. and they are all so amazing friends. I mean, look at the, 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 the smaller thing, the, our friend bought a house so that you could live it. And that's just a small example of, of, of the, the love and kindness of, of Christians in 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 their lives. I mean, because we needed a house and they wanted to. But but again, about dreaming and and having dreams at night and having things coming. But to sometimes you don't dream. Sometimes you just see. Like I remember when I when I I became uh, like a Christian. I used to see like black stuff. <laughs> Well, you know, when you See are not, things, a, when you, you know, are, or hear things yeah. and it's like, why am I hearing this? Like, yeah. am I crazy? Am I? But well, now I know that I wasn't. No, not at all. Yeah. Not at all. Because the, the spiritual world is real. Yeah. The spiritual realm is there and the spiritual forces of evil are real. Yeah. And they are there and we, uh, or, or the secular world, rejects that notion and, 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 and don't want to hear about it. Because, like you said before, they don't want their demons to be yeah. taken away. Yeah. But uh, but the reality is that those things are real in the life of many people. That they uh, uh, see things or hear things or dream things because the enemy is real in the life of every individual in one way or another. Amen. Now, to a person that doesn't know Christ... He may occasionally come to them and manipulate them into doing things that they don't want to do and they don't even realize it. Mm -hmm. You see, because it's not conscious anything of what I'm talking to you about. It's all unconscious. Mm -hmm. And you end up, you know, uh, 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 making an outrageous act that you would say, I would never have done that. How did I do this? Why did well, I do it's it? It's because yeah. the enemy manipulates you into doing these things and uh, and you don't know it. It's just because you are a puppet of Satan when you are not in Christ. It's that simple. Yeah. Another thing is that when you are in Christ, the enemy can no longer manipulate you. He may try to deceive you because he is the deceiver. That's how it's called. Mm -hmm. But uh, he definitely cannot manipulate you anymore. And that's the beauty. He can of the put puppet. things in your head. Yeah. But then you know how to respond yeah, yeah. to his attacks, let's call them. Uh, yeah, because... Uh, because you're equipped. Yeah, because the enemy cannot read your mind. Exactly. But he can put, put things in your mind. ideas in your yes. head. And then he knows what you're thinking because he put them in there. And then what you do, you act on it. <laughs> and that is called sin. Exactly, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Amen. Praise Jesus. Uh, Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Well, I, I hope I have answered all of the questions. If there is any other questions uh, that you may have or that others may have, I'd be more than glad to answer them, definitely, because uh, otherwise, uh, wow, we've been already at this uh, for how long? For 33 minutes. I mean, that's plenty of time. Are we done? Uh, I think we answered all three <laughs> questions. Okay, so let's recap. Let's let's do a recap. So, why do people say that you need to have a lot of faith to be an atheist or an unbeliever? Well, I mean, it's 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 in the air. 
It's impossible. Like to you be have a true to, yeah, you athlete. cannot believe. I mean, yes, yes, I mean, but, but a person that does not believe, it's always because of that, of an underlying, because of a, a, a reason that's hidden so in their life. So they still believe in something. Oh, absolutely. Everybody, because an atheist saying, like, I don't believe in anything. You know, the greatest believer is the atheist. Yeah. Because... They believe that it's not God, and that's a belief in yeah, itself. Yeah, believing, yeah. Because if you don't believe, they, you believe that there is no God. You are so believing. So you are believing. You know, and I'm, listen, one, one other thing that just pops in my mind, the enemy, Satan, believes in God. Oh, yeah. Oh, so, believe me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, that's for sure. Like his worst enemy. That is that is for sure. But he's he's spent uh, eternity uh, since he, he was cast word, out of yeah. heaven trying to make unbelievers. So how can of a the human being of the world? But that, you know, it's a choice that you make. Well, it's not a choice. Believe me, it's believing never. Believing is, is uh, you have not to make believing, a choice. not believing. Is a choice in the conscious, but in the unconscious, there's always an underlying reason. Amen. We might not have it consciously in our mind, but there's always something hidden. Amen. But that can change because God can change that. Amen. Absolutely. And then why is it so hard for an unbeliever to open themselves to God? Because they love their sins. Well, the Bible says that, you know, I mean, the light came in the darkness, the darkness, but the darkness cannot understand it. I mean, it's in, 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 in John chapter one, and uh, it, it goes deeper than that. I mean, uh, and it's Jesus, in, in John Jesus. chapter three, you know, a uh, light have come into the world, but people love darkness, so they reject the light. And, and in uh, Jesus, there is no darkness at all. That's right. And let's do... Let's do the match thing. No, I no, want to no, do no, the match no, thing. No, 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 no. We are, we already Let's have do the a, match thing. We are, we already have. A, Look, the, the match thing. <laughs> <laughs> I see somebody's asking about the match. I'm gonna do the match thing. Uh, well, that's a that's a simple trick, and we commend that anybody try to do it. I mean, why a match does not have a shadow? You uh, you can see the stick in a shadow, but you cannot see the light in the shadow because the light itself that have no darkness. Yeah, how are you going it's to pure do? Light. How gonna, are you going to do that? I'm gonna do it right here on your shirt. <laughs> you see, you see shadows yeah, let me, everywhere. Let you me see try. shadows wait, 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 everywhere. Wait, let me try. Wait, one sec, one sec. You see the light. You can see the light. And you let see me the see. match, but you can see. But you can't. You don't see. You the see. Light. You see the shadow of my hand. Oops! Oh. It turned off. <laughs> you see the shadow of my hand and the stick in my shirt, and you can see you the see stick. You see here. Where is it? Like right, right here. here. Look at the stick right you see, there. You have the stick, but, but you can't see the light. Why? No, you can't. You see the light, but there's no shadow in that's, the light. There's no shadow in the light. Of course. Why? Because. Jesus is pure. The, the the pure light has no darkness in it. The light shines in the darkness, Amen. and the darkness could never, never uh, be comforted it by it. Amen. Put it out. Amen. God bless you all. If you all uh, have other questions, please send it to us on this channel. We'll be more than glad to respond. Send it by email or send uh, it through Messenger, yes, Facebook. Yes, yes. It doesn't matter. Uh, we are here to answer questions. Any question. Uh, don't doesn't matter how difficult you may think they are. I mean, if we don't know them, we will research them and answer them for you yeah. because God has an answer for everything there are things in the bible that cannot be explained by man because they are secrets of god Amen. but god <laughs> made us into light for his glory and this is what we are here to help anyone and if you want to be the light all you have to do is just to say yes to jesus that's it just yeah all you have to do is just to open your heart and say lord jesus I know I'm a sinner. I need you. I need to, to see your light. Please open my eyes. Mm -hmm. Let me hear your voice. Let me see you. And I truly want to repent and turn my life. And, or, or just repent altogether and invite him into your heart. And he will fill you with a greater understanding.
Amen. You will feel the peace that passes all understanding. I understand it. Yes. Hallelujah. Let's pray. You want Hallelujah. To pray? God bless you. Let's, Let's just pray. pray. Yeah. Yes, Lord, thank you for this moment. Thank you for this opportunity to speak on your behalf. Thank you mm -hmm. for putting the words, the right words in our mouth. We praise you and worship you and thank you, Lord. And we ask you that you guide you, those that are listening, Lord, into the light, that they can see you, that they can hear you, that they can feel you, that they can, Lord, discover your greatness, your love, your abundance of peace and your abundance of grace for those who believe. Because it's all about that, about believing, about just uh, uh, grabbing that tiny little smart insignificant faith that we may feel we have and just depositing it in on you and Amen. you will make it big as a mountain thank you lord thank you hallelujah god bless you all send your questions bye, bye. hallelujah